This is the Jackrow video tutorial for creating a new concessions key layout. You can achieve this by selecting the concession key layout node on the main page of Tapos. In this screen we can edit an existing layout or add a new one. I'll start by adding a new one. Select add, give the new key layout a name, also give it a number of rows and columns while making sure to stay between the minimum and maximum number of rows and columns. Select OK. Now the new layout is created. Now I can edit tabs, also change the colors, load products, and images for the products. I'll start by editing this tab. Right click on the tab and then select set tab. You can change the name also, once again, each tab can have a different number of rows and columns. Now I'll change the background color. Now I'll add a product by simply clicking a button and selecting Set Product. I'll select the small popcorn by double clicking. Now I can click on the button once again and set an image by clicking load image you will not have to browse to this file the support team will set this file path up for you so that it will open every time you add a new product we also add images and try to stay up to date so I can just type in popcorn, select the small popcorn image. Now on the right side of the screen you'll see an options tab. Here you can select how you would like the name and the images displayed on the button. I can select all text only, all images only, or all text and images. I'll select all text and images. Now you notice I have the image and the text. I can also have the price displayed or no price. Now we'll add a new tab. I'll right click Select Add Tab, give the new tab a description, set the rows and columns. Now I have a second tab. Follow the same process of setting up products. Once you have finished creating your new key layout, highlight the key layout, click Locations, and then click the point of sale machines you would like to display the new key layout. Select OK. Select Save. Now your newly created key layout will display on the POS systems once the program has been restarted on those POS systems.